name is Dr. Drew Moore. I'm an assistant professor at Stony Brook University in New York, and I'm here to answer an important question, which is, did Lamentosaurus sinocanodorum have the longest neck of any dinosaur? But before we get there, I'll introduce myself more fully. So I'm a paleontologist who studies dinosaurs. And to break that down, a paleontologist is a scientist who uses fossils to study the history of life on Earth. Fossils are the remains of things that lived on Earth a long time ago. And whether you're interested in ancient fishes or plants or the ancestors of dolphins, there are fossils that help scientists piece together what it was like to live on Earth millions of years ago. Now, I'm a paleontologist that studies dinosaurs, and I imagine all of you are familiar with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are a diverse group of reptiles that includes familiar faces like Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops, and that also includes birds. So even though most dinosaurs died out about 66 million years ago, there are still about 10,000 different kinds of dinosaurs on Earth today in the form of birds. The dinosaurs that I specialize in are called sauropods. Sauropods all had enormous bodies and long necks. And in fact, if you know anything about sauropods, you probably know that they're the largest animals that have ever walked on Earth. And one contender for the largest known sauropod is an animal called Argentinosaurus from South America. Argentinosaurus is estimated to have weighed about 95 tons. And to make that more relatable, that's equivalent to about 18 African elephants, which are the largest animals that live on land today. So really enormous animals. One question that sauropod paleontologists are interested in is why sauropods got so big. There are multiple advantages to being big, but one of the most important is that being big is a great way to protect yourself from predators. Once you're as large as Argentinosaurus, you're simply too big and too dangerous for even the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs to kill. Another question that fascinates sauropod paleontologists is why sauropods had such long necks. The answer probably has to do with the fact that sauropods were strict vegetarians. They only ate plants. In order to fuel those enormous bodies, they had to eat tons of plants, and one of the most efficient ways to do that is to have a long neck. So in this image, the green shell represents where this sauropod dinosaur, called Apatosaurus, can position its head without moving. And as you can see, a patasaurus could graze low on the ground and higher up in the trees without having to move. And that allowed it to efficiently vacuum up the plants around it before moving on to the next patch of food. Now, one of the hard things about studying sauropods is that most sauropod fossils that we find are incomplete. Sometimes we find large parts of the skeleton, but many times we only find fragments, as we see here in Le Dumahadi. And sometimes we only find a really small piece of the skeleton, like the skull, or even just a single piece of the backbone. And this might seem surprising. If sauropods are so big, why don't paleontologists find more of their skeleton? The answer has to do with the way that an animal becomes a fossil. Most things that lived on Earth in the past did not become fossils. It actually takes a lot of luck to become a fossil. First, an animal needs to die. Then, before a scavenger can come along and eat its remains, it needs to be quickly buried in mud or sand to protect it. And this only happens in rare events, like when the river floods and washes a lot of mud onto the land, or when a sand dune falls on top of an animal that died nearby. After that, it's a waiting game. Over the course of millions of years, the sand or mud is going to become rock, and so do the bones of the animal that was buried inside. And then, of course, paleontologists have to be lucky enough to find those fossilized bones. Now, because sauropods are so big, it's pretty uncommon for their entire skeleton to have been buried in mud or sand and preserved for fossilization. So instead, we tend to just find smaller parts of them, like a foot or a head or a part of the tail. And in fact, if we look back at Argentinosaurus, it turns out that scientists have only discovered a small part of the entire animal. The model that you see here is mostly a reconstruction that shows what paleontologists think Argentinosaurus looks like based on the bones that we have for it and its closest cousins. In reality, the only bones we have for Argentinosaurus are shown here uh, and in this silhouette. And that brings me to the story I'm going to tell you today, which is about some of my research on sauropod dinosaurs. Recently, some of this research made headlines because we claimed to have identified the longest necked dinosaur known to scientists something called the Mentosaurus sinocanodorum. 
So here's that dinosaur that was discovered in Northwest China in the late 1980s, and only a small portion of its skeleton is known. The best pieces are a left lower jaw and some of the neck bones called vertebrae, one of which, this fourth one here, is in pretty rough shape. So how did we figure out what Mementosaurus cynocannodorum looked like based on so few bones? Well, by studying its bones and those of many other sauropods, we can build a sort of family tree of sauropod dinosaurs. And this is what that family tree looks like. You don't need to worry about the details, except that I want to point out that our research revealed that one of Mementosaurus cynocannodorum's closest cousins is a dinosaur called Xinjiang Titan. And this was actually very lucky for us because Xinjiang Titan is very special. It's one of those rare instances where even a very large sauropod was almost completely preserved for fossilization. And in fact, Xinjiang Titan has the longest complete neck ever discovered for any animal. This lets us use Xinjiang Titan to estimate the neck length of a Mentosaurus cynocannodorum. So we can measure all 18 of its neck bones and add those up for a total length of 13.4 meters, and meters are just a unit of measure that scientists use. We can then look at the bones that are preserved for both Xinjiang Titan and the Mentosaurus cynocannodorum, which are the second and third neck bones. We can add up the lengths of those bones for both animals. We don't know the neck length for Mementosaurus cynocannodorum, so we represent it with an X. And you may have learned in your math classes how to figure out the value of X. And if you haven't yet, you will soon. So what we do here is we cross multiply and we solve for X. And that gives us a value of about 14.4 meters for the neck of Mementosaurus cynocannodorum. But in fact, the neck of Mementosaurus cynocannodorum was probably a little bit longer even than that. And the reason for this is that as sauropods grew larger, their necks became even more extreme. On that last slide, we assumed that Mementosaurus cynocannodorum would have the same proportions as Xinjiang Titan, but this is actually not the case. As sauropod bodies got bigger, their necks got even bigger. So here in the small sauropod, the neck and body lengths are about the same, but here in the larger sauropod, the neck is longer than the body, and that's how sauropods changed over time. I won't go into the details, but accounting for this odd feature of sauropods gives us a slightly longer neck length estimate of about 15.1 meters, or about 50 feet, for the neck of a Mentosaurus cynocannodorum. That's 10 feet longer than a full-size school bus, and equivalent to six giraffe necks stacked end to end. So returning to our question, did Mementosaurus cynocannodorum have the longest neck of any dinosaur? Well, for now, it's the longest neck scientists know about. But just as you are probably not the tallest kid in your school, it's pretty unlikely that this is the biggest Mementosaurus cynocannodorum that ever existed. And given how hard it is to fossilize the biggest sauropods, I think it's safe to say that there are still bigger, longer sauropods waiting to be discovered.